Hallelujah, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We honor you, Lord. Oh, we worship you. We worship you, Lord. Who are we without you, Lord? Oh, who are we without you, Lord, our God? Who are we? We're standing here, Lord, we're standing. We're standing here, Lord, we're standing. Where do we go, where can we go without you, Lord? We don't want to go. We don't want to be without you, Lord. We're standing here, Lord, ready for you. We're standing here, Lord, believing in you. Do what you will, Lord, in spite of what I feel. In spite of what I know, you're true. We don't worry about tomorrow, but tomorrow will worry about itself, Lord. But today we say, Lord, and today we stand, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Good morning and welcome to Prophetic Diary. My name is Tynique. I want to welcome all of my first time visitors. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button. As you do not want to miss out on all that is going on here at Prophetic Diary. We are being transformed. We are being renewed. We are being restored. And we are being, to being delivered. I want to thank all of my faithful subscribers for all that you do here. Your comments, your likes, your emails, your giving. Your encouragement. And your love. I have a word from the Lord in Habakkuk. One. Verse 5. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you so much for this word. I thank you for this time. I thank you for this opportunity to come before my brothers and my sisters. We love you, Lord. And we honor you, Lord. We honor you. Oh, we give you all the praise. Hallelujah, Lord. Father, we don't know the way that we take, Father God, but you do. Oh, Father, this this week you're going to cleanse us father god this week you're going to change us and transform us as we go into march as we go into a new month in the name of jesus i thank you and i honor you for what you're doing bless every every listening ear father god god let their needs be met bring encouragement peace joy happiness understanding revelation knowledge and wisdom all things father god that is needed on earth as it is in heaven in our situations and in our minds jesus Oh, Father, I love you as things come full circle in our lives, Father God. Continue to purify our carnal ways and our fleshly ways. That we only stand, Father God, in the spirit, Jesus. That we only operate and move in the spirit. I pray up against anything that would try to come against this prayer, against this live. I mean, against this video. Father God, anything that's not of you, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Have your way in this moment and in this time. Do exactly what you came to do, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. The word of the Lord reads, Look at the nations and watch and be utterly amazed. For I am going to do something in your days that you would not believe even if you were told. Look at the nations and watch and be utterly amazed. For I'm going to do something in your days that you would not believe, even if you were told. What the Lord is about to do in your life, even if I told you, or 
or someone else told you exactly, verbatimly, detail from detail, line upon line, you would not believe it. There's a great turnaround that's coming to his people. There's a turnaround coming to the situations as he cleansed the air this week. There's a lot of smog in the air. There's a lot of deception and lies and confusion and fear and doubt in the air and the Lord is purifying it so that when you breathe, you can only breathe in and sense exactly what he is doing. Father God, I pray that you keep our mouths from saying anything that's not of you, God or stepping out of line when it comes to your promises. The Lord has plans for us. The Lord has plans and they will come forth. And a lot of you have been in situations where you want to argue people down. You want to argue the enemy down. And you want to argue the situation down. You want to get your point across. Some of you have even stepped back in some of your old carnal ways just to prove a point. But the Lord is calling you back to your rightful place to get back in a position and just stand. When you don't know what to do, what else to do, you just stand. But don't move out of that space. You've worked too hard to get to this place to be shaken up and moved away by something that seems to be it's deception, it's lies. The enemy wants to make it to look one way, but we know the truth. We know what it really is. He want to get us further and further away from our promises. He want us to stop believing in the Lord. He wants to attack our faith because of what it looks like. But I know that I serve a God that says in the word, I'm going to do something in your days that you would not believe, even if you were told. That's the God that I believe in. And that's the God that I know is going to come forth for his people. That is the God that I know is showing up on the scene, seen right now to show up and show out in his people's lives. We will not smell like smoke. We will not look like what we've been through. The laughter and the shame will go away. Those who laughed and mocked us, <laughs> they will be amazed. As the word says, utterly amazed. Thank you, Jesus. For the cup that we drink from today, we will drink from no more. What you see in us today, you will see no more. The single life, the battered life, the abused life, the confused life, the burden life, the poverty, hallelujah. The sicknesses, the diseases, the deception, the confusion and manipulation. The cup we drink from today, you will see no more in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Go, 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 go. See, Judas has kissed us on the cheek. And it's time for the glory to show up. The deception has taken place. An enemy has came in with his ticks and his, his tactics. And he's shown his face. Huh. He has been revealed. We see who he is. Huh. We see who he is. The Lord has revealed the enemy to us. Hallelujah. He's a liar. He's a liar. What the Lord spoke of our lives exactly how he spoke it to us is exactly how it's going to come to pass in the mighty name of jesus christ we serve and we praise father god i cover our promises in the name of jesus and the blood of jesus on earth as it is in heaven see the enemy is a liar and he's full of deceit and he's trying to plant seeds in your head to make you think it's something other than exactly what our lord said it is i know what my god said i know what my god said yes i know what you see but i know what my god said I know what the Lord has said about these promises. I know what the Lord has said about these marriages. I know what the Lord has said about your finances. I know what the Lord has said about your child. I know what the world says, the word says, and it says, utterly amazed, for I am going to do something in your days that you would not believe even if I told you. He's going to do something that we wouldn't even believe even if he told us. Even this man told it's too big to fathom that you won't always be in poverty. It's too big to fathom that you won't always be hurt. It's too big to fathom that you won't be single. It's too big to fathom that that prodigal will come home. It's too big to fathom that you will be healed in your body. It's too much to be fathom that your family will come together in unity. 
It's too much to fathom that you are going to break the generational curses. It's too much to fathom that your business is going to take off and be exactly what the Lord called it to be. It is too much to fathom that you once a broken girl and a broken boy would now look at you. It's too much to fathom. Utterly amazed that what our God said that he's going to do exactly what he said he's going to do. I trust in him. I believe in him. The devil is alive. I don't care what I see. I don't care what I feel. I don't care what my emotions say. I'm not bottled up in my emotions. I'm not bottled up in tears. I'm not bottled up in fear. I'm not bottled up in anxiety. I'm not bottled up in depression. I'm not bottled up in that. But I'm standing in faith and I'm standing in the word. I pray that this word has blessed y'all. If the Lord leads you to so, so. If he leads you to a one-on-one for your breakthrough and more clarity, do that as well. The Lord says stand today because you're going to be utterly amazed at what he's going to do. Stand in faith and believe that exactly what he spoke to you, exactly what he said, exactly what you saw in that dream, exact that confirmation you seem you were not crazy and it shall come to pass. And you wouldn't believe it even if the Lord or myself told you. Y'all have a blessed day. Amen.